the seasons and your menstrual cycles. In today's video, I will be covering ovulation with you and what this time of the month means and how this is associated to the summer months. I've also done other videos in this series covering the autumn, the winter and the spring seasons and how they relate to your pre-ovulation, your menstruation and your pre-menstruation as well. So please check out my channel to watch those videos. So during your ovulation, your hormones will be more balanced and you'll be feeling more energised, attractive, relaxed and happy and much more comfortable with intimacy during this time. This is when you may feel more sexual energy and have a higher sex drive at this time in your cycle. During the ovulation, a tiny egg is released from one of your ovaries. So if you're having sexual intercourse, this can be the time you're most likely to get pregnant. So if you're actively trying to create and bring a baby into this world, then you need to be tracking your cycle and remembering that ovulation is going to be the best time and the best chances for that to happen. <clears throat> it's the second phase of your cycle and can begin around day 13. For me, I find it often occurs around day 11, give or take, and usually lasts around seven days or so. However, the actual peak of your ovulation is around 24 hours. For that, um, and that for some people can fall, I notice with my cycle, around day 13 to 18 at some point during that. So it does vary, but tracking your cycle is the best way to find out which day of your cycle you are on. Day one is the first day you begin to menstruate. So that's how you would begin to track it. So you could write this in a diary or a calendar, or you could use an app. So my cycle length varies from 27 to 32 days, and my period usually lasts five to six days. So just remember when you're working this out, there is, you know, there, there's guides and there's ranges within this, but ultimately whatever happens for you is natural for you. So don't compare yourself or think that our cycle isn't quite right, or, you know, there's always going to be some variation with that. So things to look out for around your peak time of ovulation. So your body temperature will tend to rise when you're around that ovulation. You know, your skin's going to be glowing. You're going to be looking and feeling your best. The cervical mucus may change as well. That is another sign of ovulation. And your cervical mucus may resemble almost like egg whites and it may feel more stretchy. If you were to put it on your finger and you'll see what I mean when it is more stretchy. Some women also experience cramping and breast tenderness. So at that point of ovulation, biologically, your hormone levels are generally at their highest. So it's it's not just a thing that we feel better than. There is a scientific reason behind that because of your hormone levels. And that's when you're going to feel your best. You're going to feel like you've got more energy at that time compared to the other times. So when that ovulation is happening, your estrogen and testosterone reach their highest peaks. So again, it's a hormonal change within the body that takes place. You may feel more confident, enthusiastic, and you may want to be around your partner more. You may be feeling more sexy and, you know, in more of that doing energy. That's your time in that month to do. So if you want to create the baby, like I say, that's the time to go and do it. If not, what else do you want to create into the world? What is it you're wanting to bring into the world? What is it you're wanting to do? Tune into that energy, sit with those thoughts and that energy and do because your creative powers are at their peak. It's also that perfect time to go out, plan your trips because you're going to be feeling more sociable during that time. That is your time to do. If you've got that flexibility and when you learn to track and sync your cycle, you're going to know within the month when are your key points to arrange certain events or you know if you've got certain commitments with work you may need to do. It's going to be managing it around those points. So for a woman connecting to her monthly cycle, it is of course going to help you navigate your energy and plans for the month. And also it can help you as well with connecting with your partner and for you to call on them and ask for help and support where you need at different points within your cycle. So embracing and connecting to your feminine power, because whatever you desire, you can 
make sure and know that you can make that happen during your ovulation time. I know myself when I hit that point after I finish my menstrual cycle and I'm going into that pre- ovulation, my energy is starting to rise, I'm starting to feel better, things are starting, you know, I'm starting to feel more like me again. And then when ovulation hits, that is your point. You want to have more energy, you can go out, you feel like you can socialise. And that is what summer energy is about. It's about being out there in the sun. So use that energy for how best you feel it suits and fits you. And for things like your diet and exercise during this time, because your energy levels are higher, that's when you can do more of that strength training. You can do longer and more intense walks, running, gym sessions. Um, That is your peak. So that's where you can push yourself more. During the other stages of your cycle, you may have to, you know, do slightly less or take it a little bit easier. I often find eating during that time, I'm not as hungry as some of the other weeks in my cycle. So I feel that is definitely a time I can eat better. So keep eating, you know, plenty of your fruits, leafy greens, keep having your herbs, your herbal teas, raw foods, high fiber foods, magnesium, your vitamin C and your B vitamins. Keep on top of all of that, but you'll probably find at that point, it's easier to manage your eating. So that is in a summary, your summer season. So utilize that energy and get tracking your cycles so you can have that wisdom of your body, yourself and the month ahead and how to plan and best utilize your energies. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for supporting my channel.